Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 25 DIYs of Christmas. Make sure you hit that notification bell, you guys, so you can keep up with all of the videos. I'll be doing one every day for the next 25 days, okay? All right, so today is day four. We will be making a DIY perfume oil. I'm super excited about this. This is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to formulate the dilutant myself or just buy it pre-made and so ultimately I decided to buy it pre-made because I wanted to keep this DIY very very simple so it's basically two ingredients you guys that is it and I'll be showing you three different versions of this perfume oil um, so yeah we're just gonna jump right in I'm using 10 milliliter roller ball bottles and these are glass and I will be using undiluted essential oils and I believe one fragrance oil so I basically followed the um, advice from the manufacturer of the dilutant which said to use maybe 10 to 20 um, percent of the essential oil and then you can use the other um, 80 percent or so as the dilutant okay um, but you just want to make sure that your essential oil or fragrance oil is completely undiluted that means no jojoba oil no other oils inside of it it is completely just the essential oil and fragrance oil okay um so this is the uh dilutant i got off of amazon you guys if you are interested in any tools or ingredients that i'm using check the description box down below um so that you can do your own research and find out if it's something that'll work for you um, this is my first time using this ingredient um, so i'm just definitely just giving it a try it seems pretty fine it smells okay and i'm just gonna see how it works out um keep in mind that when we're making these perfume oils that they're gonna take two to three weeks i think to cure so they're gonna have to sit for a while before we get the final result so um just keep that in mind so for this very first vowel i'm using lavender essential oil and to complement that i'm using the lavender buds and i just thought it would be a very nice pretty aesthetic to add to it um just to give it a little bit extra the lavender buds also so smell amazing um, and I know that you can use um, like a alcohol base or even glycerin or anything to extract um, different ingredients like uh, flowers and herbs and things like that so I wanted to know if it would do something similar to that in this perfume oil um, so I just decided to add it anyway so we'll see what happens <laughs> So here is the uh, cap and also the roller ball that came with these glass roll-on bottles. Um, I think it's very pretty. I really, really like it. I think it came out pretty well. And I'm excited to see what the final result is. Right now, it smells so beautiful. You can already smell the lavender. Um, so I really want to know exactly what will happen uh, later on after two to three weeks and how potent it will become. So I'm really excited to see the results. But we're going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to do the other uh, oils that I have. I have the Rose Oto. You guys probably have seen me use this before. I absolutely love it. I rarely use it because it's very expensive, but it's very beautiful, beautiful, potent rose aroma just absolutely beautiful guys be in mind depending on how strong you want your perfume to be you want to add more or less of the essential oil so if you want a uh, 10 percent uh of the essential oil then you have a lighter you know more delicate perfume and if you go all the way up to the 20 percent then you have a sh slightly stronger one that will probably last a little longer when you put it on okay um so yeah that is it basically i'm just going to go ahead and fill this up uh almost till we get to the top because i want to leave room um to place the rose buds inside of this bottle to complement the rose aroma i just thought it would be also a very beautiful aesthetic um, once again if you guys want to know where i got my dried flowers check the description box down below so you guys can check that out okay i was worried that this wouldn't fit at first but it definitely did fit um and then the rest of the way i just used the uh rosebud petals instead of the whole rosebud you can definitely fill these bottles up you guys with as much as you want of the 
uh, dried flowers to give more of a beautiful aesthetic. Just be in mind that if you do that, you need to use less dilutant. And if you use less dilutant, then you need to use less of the uh, essential or fragrance oil that you're using because the dried flowers are taking up some of that space. So keep that in mind when you're adding them in. Before we move on, I just want to make a point to let you know that certain ingredients have certain uh, purposes and that's why they're added into to certain uh, products and they basically some of them extend the shelf life some of them um, just allow things to last a little longer there are some alternatives that I guess supposedly supposed to be better but I'm not quite sure um, just you know do your own research um, making it yourself will allow you to kind of edit and place what ingredients you want but um, until then you can definitely just buy the pre-made okay so at the last minute I decided to use my favorite white tea essential oil so I didn't use the fragrance oil I did want to show you guys that you could use fragrance oils but I'll do that in another video I just got some new fragrance oils that I love so I can do that in another video for you guys um, but yeah I'm using my favorite favorite essential oil which is white tea essential oil it smells so beautiful it's undiluted unfiltered and so just a beautiful fragrance I've never smelled anything like it I love it okay so so I'm definitely using the 20% of this because I want the strongest smell of this as I possibly can and I'm just like excited to see the end result of this just because I already love it so much in my products I already know I'm gonna love it as a perfume for myself so following the same steps I'm adding my essential oil first then I'm adding my dilutant before I get to the top, I'm going to add in my dry flowers and then fill the rest up with the dilutant. The very last one is the white tea. So I thought the best way to complement the white tea essential oil is to actually use the leaves where the white tea uh, is made from. So yeah, uh, I thought it was very beautiful. I love how they look inside here. I only added, I believe, three because I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. So that is it, you guys. What do you think about these perfume oils? Would you give this a try? I absolutely love it and I definitely want to experiment some more especially with some fragrance oils all right so now we're gonna close these up tightly and we're going to sit them in a dark cool place definitely avoid uh, sunlight and heat you guys keep it in a dry cool dark place and you want to let that sit for two to three weeks is what the manufacturer or supplier suggested suggest and uh, after that you just go and check it I believe so I did shake mine just to kind of help mix it a little bit more um, and I believe throughout the two three weeks I will continue to just shake it every now and then just go give it a little shake and then put it back down and um, just keep up with the progress of it and I definitely will do a follow-up video for you all um, probably towards the end of December or either the beginning of January to let you know how it turned out I'm really excited to see I cannot absolutely cannot wait to see how these turn out leave a comment down below if you would give this a try you guys or if you like this recipe very simple right I think this is very very simple very easy it only seems complicated just because you're using uh, different ingredients besides just you know regular carrier oils um, so but regular carrier oils just probably won't give you that extreme perfume scent that you're looking for okay so anyway like I said any tools or ingredients that you're looking for check the description box down below for a full list of ingredients and measurements check the description box down below make sure you follow me on instagram and all that good stuff also like this video share it you can also subscribe and hit that notification bell it's the only 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 way you can keep up with all the videos i'm coming out with i'll be doing one video for the all the way into christmas you guys a diy into christmas so yeah stay tuned bye i got blood on my hands right now